I figured I'd try the, the, the selfie stick today because my arms were getting tired the last couple. So uh, it's Friday, June 1st, 12.52 p.m. Uh, it's another, it's warm, it's 24 degrees, feels like 32, but it doesn't really feel like that. There's a pretty consistent breeze that's pretty chilly actually, and I'd actually wear a sweater, but uh, it doesn't stay long enough to, like I'd be taking the sweater on and off. So it's, uh, it's cloudy. I don't know if it'll rain today, but uh, it's... I don't know, I don't think it's the warmest day, it's definitely a little humid outside, <clears throat> but I just got back from, from voting for the provincial elections, I voted uh, for the Green Party, I can't really get this to stay, put me in the center, but I voted for the Green Party because that's, I, I don't really know too much about politics, but um, I initially wasn't gonna, gonna vote, my girlfriend was saying that I should, it's something that I should be doing, um, and I like the idea of voting, I'm just not really informed about um, issues to feel like I can vote on stuff. So she sent me like this vote compass thing that tells you, asks you some questions and aligns you with parties. And uh, I aligned the most with the Green Party, so I ended up voting for them. It was advanced voting because I, uh, I just wanted to get it done and over with and there was a lot of people, so I was pretty much in and out, which was nice. Um, yeah, I, I, I felt like I had to say something else, but that's it. Uh, I'm gonna pick up Dad today from the airport. He's coming back from Poland. He's currently in flight, I'd imagine. Uh, I have to go pick him up at 8.30 p.m., so that'll be how my evening goes. But Fridays are kind of just my chill-out day. It's, I guess, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Those are the days where I don't really do anything, I don't study, I kind of just do whatever I want and just really enjoy the time off um, that I have. So today the plan is to listen to some music. I listened to Five Finger Death Punches and Justice for None album, which wasn't that great. I kept about four songs. And the new Ghost album prequel um, that... Uh, was actually a lot better than I expected it to be, so that was nice. Um, I probably will listen to a couple more before I update my iPod and then head to Toronto. But uh, the plan for today is really just to play a lot of Battlefield 1. Uh, lately I've been playing, been wanting to play that a lot. I have been playing it throughout the week a little bit, and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, so, so some of that, some TF2 I'm sure, some of that as well. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan for today. Um, what I want to talk about today is traveling, because for a large portion of my life I never really felt like traveling. Um, I still kind of feel this way now where seeing a picture of somewhere and going there is kind of the same thing. You're seeing the exact same thing, but I think that I want to actually see some of these places for myself, like the Grand Canyon. I want to go to Disney World. I want to go to Poland. I want to, you know, experience some of the world. And lately, the last few months even, I've been, or I guess the last few months in general, I've been kind of feeling like I want to do more traveling, but especially now since I don't have a job, I can't really afford it. But even when I do have a job, the thing that kind of, um, I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people travel because it costs a lot of money. Because I was looking at price or plane tickets to to Poland, and they're like twelve hundred dollars for there and back. So that's total. And I was like, that's a lot of money. And then you add up, you know, places you stay, things you eat, places you know, traveling, things you buy. You're looking at at least fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. And I mean, if I make forty thousand dollars a year, let's say, let's say I got a full time job and I made forty thousand dollars a year, that's one twentieth of my. Of, of my entire year's paycheck. That's 5% of my money before taxes. That's insane. And I don't think that's worth it. Like, I feel like, I don't know what exactly the, the, the dollar amount would be that I have to make a year to justify spending that much money on a trip. Um, but it's definitely a lot more than 40,000. Um, and the other thing is time. Um, if I'm working 40 hours a week, I don't really have time throughout the week to go traveling and stuff. Um, but I have those two weeks of vacation, so I can take one or two weeks. But even then, no, I just don't feel like it's worth it to go somewhere for two weeks, even. Because I want to, because what was my idea of traveling, and, and maybe I'm just being really hard headed about this, really stubborn, um, is that if I'm going to go somewhere, I want to experience everything in one fell swoop. I don't want to go somewhere and experience some of it, come back home, and then some other years later, go back there, f finish off some of the other stuff, come back, and then third time, go back there one more time and see all the rest of the stuff. Like, I want to go there once. In a perfect world, like this is my ideal situation. I'd obviously have a lot of money. Um, I mean, ideally I'd win like cash for life or something and I'd have $1,000 per week, 52000 a year. And I could just kind of take some time off and not work and just, ex and just go travel the world for a bit with that money. That'd be awesome. Because what I want to do, one of the things that I want to do is like rent an RV or just go, just take the car and just drive from from here, all around Canada, all around America, and experience everything, state by state, province by province, city by city. Um, so, for example, if I go to Florida, I want to experience all of Florida. I don't just want to go for Disney World. I want to see everything, all the little things Florida has to offer. I want to eat at all the cool 
places that Florida has to offer, specifically Florida. I want to go to Texas and experience all of Texas. I want to experience all the restaurants Texas has to offer, all the little things, like just a monument, for example, just one little monument in some random ass city, and it's kind of cool for this random ass city. I want to see that. I want to go there. And I want to see everything in Texas. I don't just want to go, for example, to the Grand Canyon and just see that. Like wherever the Grand Canyon is, I don't remember right now, but wherever that is, I want to go see everything in that state. Everything around the Grand Canyon, everything in that entire state. Like that's what I want to do. And it, it, I think it'd be cool to like go, I would probably do, I'd probably head east through Quebec all the way around and then come down, go all the way down to Florida, head west into, like west along the US, so that would take me to California, and probably zigzag through the middle of the states, then eventually make my way back west where I would go up to BC and then all the way back home. Like that's what I would like to do. And that's a long time. I don't know if, like that's a lot of driving, that's a lot of just time. So that'll probably take me months to do. So I don't know if I would do that in, at once, but that's something that I really want to do. Even if I, even if I do a couple states at a time and you know, fly home, for example, and just kind of rent a car there. Like that's what I want to do. And that's how I want to travel. Say when I go to like Europe, for example, that's what I want, that's what I want to do. It's I want to experience the entire country at once. Like if I go to Poland, I want to see everything. I don't want to go for a couple of weeks and then just kind of have to rush places, have to um, sacrifice seeing something or seeing something for as long as I'd like to um, because I only have X amount of time. Like I want to just kind of have unlimited amount of time to go see something. And like I said, maybe I'm being stubborn. Maybe I'm not really thinking this through clearly, but I just, that's what I think now. So obviously travel isn't something that I'm going to be doing in the near future. I mean, I don't make money now. I'm going to school for, for a year or so. When I'm done school, it'll be at the earliest September 2019, and then I'm gonna be working. So let's say 20, let's say 20, let's just say, let's just say for example, 2021 would be the earliest that I could go. I would be what 28, 29, something like that, which isn't bad, but that's still a long time away. That's three years away, right? So we'll see. Uh, I would like to travel; it'd be cool, but like I just said, that's that. So. That's my thoughts on traveling. Again, I think this will be a cool thing to look back on one day if I do travel and kind of get to experience that. But uh, in other news, uh, I was, I've was i been kind of looking through some of the older vlogs, just kind of see, vlogs and seeing if I can address anything and kind of update on something. And uh, one of the things I, I wasn't really important, but I saw I was talking about the Leafs. Um, since 2014, the Leafs have been doing well. They were, this past season, they were in the, in the playoffs for the second year in a row. They got eliminated for the, in the first round for the second year in a row to Boston. Uh, they put up a good fight. They were down 3-1, came back 3-3. They were doing well in the seventh game and then um, kind of stopped. So and they got and they lost. So that's what it is. Um, I also actually speaking of travel, I I, um, I digged up my things to do before I die list and I've been transferring it to an Excel spreadsheet. And I've been adding stuff as I go. And it's been cool to kind of see some of the things that I have had on there for a long time. And there's been a, only a couple things that I've been able to check off. One of which was seeing Slipknot in concert. That was actually something that was on there and and. Um, it was nice. It was awesome to be able to say like I did that. I was it's still one of the greatest days of my life. Um, that concert was amazing. So there's that. Um, and uh, yeah, back to hockey though. Uh, the Leafs. I mean, they drafted Austin Matthews in 2016. I want to say. You know, they have Mitch Marner, William Nylander, all the kids and stuff. And I'm still saying Leafs are winning the cup in 2020. That's my thing. I don't know who they're going to be against. My, initially, I said the Chicago Blackhawks, but they've kind of fell off in the last few years. So, not sure who they'd go up against in the finals, but I think 2018-2019, um, so this next coming season, they are going to get to either the Eastern Conference Finals or the Stanley Cup Finals and lose. And 2019-2020 is when they win the Cup. And uh, I would love to either see that in person or go to uh, outside the ACC and watch that or whatever and just... We've been watching it on TV. It'd be, I think I'm definitely going to cry because that's going to be awesome. But uh, anyway, that's it for today. Uh, I don't know what I'll talk about tomorrow, but I'd like to at least post a video tomorrow just to make it seven days. And then I don't know why I kind of want to do that. But anyway, where's the button to end this? I don't know. It's over here. All right, Mike. See you tomorrow.